Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as you can see, I have a whole mess of lipsticks and I also have a bin full of lipsticks next to this little mess. So we're gonna go through and declutter together. I'm going to, yeah, just go through everything and my goal is to be really ruthless and also quick about this. Um, I don't wanna dwell and anything that's like really old or that I haven't worn in over a year needs to go. And this is my entire lip collection, by the way. It's lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip liners. And some like lip balms and treatment type things. All right, so let me start with stuff that I definitely know I'm keeping. This is the Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Berry Recognize. Um, I'm really liking the way this looks with my hair and the formula on this particular shade is really good, so I'm definitely keeping that. This is Sugar Pills Detox Lipstick. Um, the formula is all right, I do like it, but I'm really loving the color, so I'm definitely keeping that. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Stone Fox. This mess right here, by the way, is stuff that I've worn recently, so if you've seen a lot of these in tutorials or Instagram posts recently, that's why. Really enjoyed this with the rainbow look I recently created. I haven't worn it in a while other than that time, but I'm gonna try and wear it more. This, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of old. Um, I got it in college from my friend Emily. Emily, you're probably not watching this, but um, I still really love this babushka lip gloss. It's really moisturizing and it's adorable, so I'm definitely keeping it. Okay, this I bought. It's it's a lip liner from NYX with the intention of using it with my lilac lipsticks, but it's definitely like so cool tones that I don't know if I'll use it, so I think I'm gonna pass this on. When I say pass it on, I mean I'm gonna like let friends and family go through it. This is the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. Use this all the time, so I'm keeping it. This one I haven't used like super recently, the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Suede Shoes. I do really like it for like a beigey pinky nude, so I'm gonna keep that. This is getting super old, the Palladio Herbal Lip Liner uh, in Nearly Nude. Um. It's a nice color. It's a little warm, but it is a nice color. It's just the texture is kind of cakey actually, um, and it is kind of old. So I'm actually just gonna chuck this one. Next is this Milani Easy Liner for lips. Um, retractable pencil in Sugar Plum. I actually really love this. I use it with all of my like dark red lipsticks, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I'm not gonna swatch everything, by the way. I, I don't know why I just swatched that. This is the ColourPop Lippy Liner in the shade Wet. I believe this is discontinued, but it's a nice dark gray, and I actually do like it for when I'm doing like a grayish lip, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint. I literally just got this. I just featured this in a haul, so I'm still kind of like playing with it, and I do like the color, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Glamour Dolls Gloss Knob in the shade um, Topless. I do like this. It's discontinued. Um, it's only like a year old. I do use it sometimes when I want something like very nude and glossy, so I'm gonna keep this. This is the NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper in the shade Elizabeth. I've been talking about this a bunch recently, and I do really love it, um, so I'm gonna keep it. Just FYI though, like, you shouldn't use minty lip products too often. I just wanted to throw that out there. They are irritating to the lips. And this is the NYX Simply Nude Lip Cream. Color is not great. Like peachy nudes don't look great on me, honestly. The texture is like fine. Um, it's not my favorite, so and it is like pretty gently used, so I'm gonna pass that one on. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator and I really like this. Um, oh my God, it looks so gross. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Um, I like the idea of this because it's really easy to use, but to be honest, the flavor kind of nauseates me. I do like vanilla, but there's something about this one that kind of nauseates me. Um, and I don't know, I just don't, I should exfoliate my lips more, but I don't know, I don't like this. So I'm just gonna chuck it. I think if you're not like easily nauseated by scents, um, and you want something like inexpensive, I do think this is a good product. I just personally don't like using it. Another Glamour Dolls product, this is the Lip Jelly, and again, this is discontinued. Um, so this is a lip conditioner. It's kind of a hybrid between like a balm and a gloss, and it is so comfortable on the lips. It's the only thing that actually like stays glossy. Like if I wear it overnight, like I wake up feeling like my lips still have like, I don't know, like this balm on them and, um, I don't know, it's it's really comforting to the lips. I'm just gonna keep it for my own use. Another discontinued product that I'm holding on to, this is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in Make Your Move. I really don't like the packaging. 
and it also like came apart in the packaging, but the color and the formula are so stunning. So I'm gonna keep it because I do love the lipstick. This is a gorgeous Anastasia lip gloss that my cousin gave me for Christmas. Hi, Afroditi, thank you for this lip gloss again. It's in the shade Venom, I really do like it, so I'm gonna keep it. By the way, this little acrylic case thing, I'm actually using to keep the things that I know I'll wear super often, and then I'm putting everything else that's gonna go back in the bin to the side. This is a relatively new product. It is the Motives all day liquid sticks in the shade Seduction. Really, really pretty like darkish red. Um, it's a liquid lipstick and it's pretty long wearing, but it's a little bit glossy. So I kind of like the formula too. Okay, this is like my favorite lip gloss at the moment. It is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in Skin Deep. Definitely keeping that. Okay, this I hate. I hate the color. Um, it feels fine on the lips, but I really hate the color. It's the number seven uh, Parisian Pink Lovely Lips Lip Balm. I'm gonna pass this on because it's relatively new, but I hate the color. On me. I'm not passing on things that are gonna look terrible on everybody. I just don't like the color for me. Okay, so this is another NYX lip liner, um, and it's in the shade Natural again. So I'm gonna keep it because I do love this shade. It's just mechanical versus sharpenable. Another NYX mechanical retractable retractable, retractable lip liner. This is in the shade uh, Vanilla Sky. And this is really light with like a shimmer to it. I do like the color, but it's just too light to line my lips. Like I could fill in my lips with it, but that kind of defeats the purpose of a lip liner. So I'm gonna pass this on. Actually, it's old. I'm gonna chuck it. Okay, this I just bought by NYX. It's the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Orange County. Um, I'm not gonna swatch everything, geez. Um, I really like this, especially with that sugar pill lipstick that I mentioned uh, earlier. So I'm gonna keep this. Okay, this is really old. It came in a Sephora birthday gift. You all know what I'm talking about. This was really popular and I think it might even be discontinued. It's the Rouge Artist Natural by Makeup Forever in the shade N9. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's nice. It's like a sheer terracotta but every time I wear it, like it's not super long wearing and I'm kind of like, I just feel like I look meh in this, um, but it doesn't smell weird and it is a nice color. So I'm gonna see if like my sister wants it. These LA Girl Matte lipsticks I just bought um, and featured in a drugstore haul. So I'm gonna keep them. Colors are kind of whatever, they're nice, but um, I'm gonna use them in tutorials. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Really pretty, I'm gonna keep this. I love the uh, vanilla flavor on those. These are two mini NYX uh, lip laundries I in the shade corset and satin ribbon. I really like these. They're like two of my most perfect nudes So I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna put them in the everyday pile This is I'm not gonna lie kind of old, but oh, it smells fine And it's definitely one of my favorite reds. It's like the only warmer red. I really like it's NARS jungle red um, Not cruelty free by the way. I did buy this when they were cruelty free, but regardless I really do love this lipstick uh, and I want to wear it more so I'm gonna put it in the everyday Pile. This is Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit and Goth Topic. I love this, so I'm gonna keep it. These are two NARS lip pencils in Rakujian and Cruella. Um, amazing colors, so I'm definitely gonna keep these. Two Kat Von D Liquid Lipsticks in Requiem and Outlaw. Two of my absolute favorites, so I'm definitely gonna keep these. Some more NARS lip products. Um, if you couldn't tell, I really do like NARS lip products. Two of the Audacious uh, lipsticks, they're amazing, so I'm definitely keeping those. I'm gonna put them in the everyday. I do have the this NARS sample in the shade Star Woman. Really, really nice color, um, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this, I like put most of it in my kit. Um, it looks pretty good on me, but honestly, it looks fabulous on mostly everybody else. I just have like like my skin tone to my lips. It's just like a, a pretty unique combination. So, um, but anyway, this is the shade Rose Cliff. Uh, very pretty. Not gonna go in the everyday pile, but I'm gonna keep it for when I need like a warmer nude. Another non-cruelty free product, just FYI. This is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick Liquid Lip, uh, and this one is in the shade Pink Heather. Really, really nice, like mid-tone, cool tone pink. So I'm definitely gonna keep this and I'm gonna put it in the everyday one. <sighs> this one is tough. Another liquid cat suit in the shade um, Nudie Patootie. It's really like, ugh, it's like a tan beige. It's not a super pretty color to be honest, but it like has a purpose to me. Like if I do like an orangey eye look, I like to use this so I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile, I don't know. Something else I'm a little bit on the fence about but leaning towards no, this is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Purple Rain. Really, really nice formula and I do like the vanilla scent on this. The only thing is, and it's a gorgeous color, but it's so dark um, that 
it's just not super flat. I do like a dark lipstick, but it's so dark and so cool toned without being a blue that I just don't think it makes my face look very nice. I'm gonna pass it on. The Cosmetics Your Lips But Better uh, Waterproof Lip Liner, amazing. I'm definitely keeping this. ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip uh, in a discontinued shade called Obviously. They sent this to me for free as an apology for waiting so long for my package. Um, I don't like the color. I did just get it, so I kind of like want to use it and see if I'm gonna like it, but I don't like the color, to be honest. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Two Tonic Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I do love these and I have a discount code for them that I'll have below, so I'm definitely keeping these. This is my favorite lip liner ever. It's in uh, old packaging. It's now retractable, but it's the Beauty For Real Universal Lip Liner, so I'm definitely keeping this. Anastasia Pure Hollywood. This was like one of my first nude liquid lipsticks. It's like a really nice shade, but it's a little too pink for me. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because maybe with like a good lip liner, it is good. Okay, this is difficult, um, but I'm gonna get rid of this. It is the Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy and I feel like this irritates my lips. I honestly feel that way and you know what? I use my eye cream on my lips anyway, like kind of as a lip serum, so I'm just gonna throw this away and I don't wanna pass it on even because I seriously think it's irritating to the lips, so goodbye. Like it has like some lemon and stuff in there. I don't know, I'm, I'm skeptical. Okay, this is also difficult because I feel like when I need like a quick lip, I really like this because it's super moisturizing. The color is like a little too like tanny brown, haha, <laughs> tammy brown. Okay, that e.l.f. lipstick went in the maybe pile. Okay, this I really like. It's the Motives Mocktail Liquid Lipstick. Really pretty color, I'm gonna keep that. This product no longer exists, um, but it's a good lip liner for like a Barbie pink lipstick. So just because I don't have anything like it, I'm gonna keep it, because I do wear a Barbie pink from time to time. This lipstick is freaking beautiful. It's the Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang Lamarck lipstick. So I'm keeping this. I'm gonna put it in the everyday. This I love Sugar Pill Kimchi, keeping that. This I love Wet n Wild Mega Slick Lip Gloss in the shade Sinless. I have to swatch this for you. It's so cool. Like when you put that on top of a lilac lipstick, it looks so good. It looked better when I had blonde hair, but I'm gonna keep it because my hair color is always changing. This is so old and needs to go. It's the Mary Kay lip gloss. It's just pretty to look at. Like look at all those sparkles, but gold lip gloss is just so not my thing. So I'm throwing it away because it's so old. This is brand new Sugar Pill um, Pretty Poison lip color in Dark Sided. It's like a really dark lipstick. I got this because I'm gonna do like this cool makeup look on a friend. I'm gonna like make her look a little Rihanna-ish, so definitely keeping this, obviously. Oh my god, that's so cool how, like, the darker lipstick has, like, a darker packaging. I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this bin of, like, the stuff on top is stuff that I've recently put in there, but the stuff on the bottom is definitely stuff that I haven't touched in a while, so... Oh my god. Oh my god, here goes. All right, this right away I'm gonna toss because I don't know why I bought it. This is the Glamour Dolls Lip Cream in Dump Him. Um, I honestly think this is such a cute color, but I am being ruthless and TBH, it kind of smells weird, so I'm throwing it away. Glamour Dolls Lip Cream in Selfie. This one smells fine, and it is like kind of a unique nude. Um, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is so freaking old. This NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil, like, do they even make these anymore? They're really nice, I'm not gonna lie, like, the texture, but I'm gonna throw it away. Too old. Ugh, this is such a pretty color. This is Melted Fuchsia by Too Faced. Smells kind of weird. These have, like, a nice formula. They're kind of hard to, like, not, to, to get to not feather on the lips. Um, and I feel like they also separate through time. It's a shame because it was such a pretty color, but I just never reach for it and it's kind of separated. So, oh, I'm sorry, goodbye. Random Calvin Klein lipstick that has a nice vanilla flavor, so I'm keeping it. Oh my God, this is like the first like nude lipstick that I bought that I liked. Um, this is Athens by NYX and I thought it was funny because I'm Greek and I was like, oh, it must match Greek complexions really well. But actually, it's like kind of peachy for me. It also smells a tiny bit weird, so I'm gonna throw it away. This is also kind of old from MAC and it's a cool color. Um, it was limited edition, but now that I have that pretty poison from uh, Sugar Pill, 
and, and this is kind of patchy anyway. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Why did I even hold on to it all these years? More Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I do love the black one witches and this is Lolita. Like these are two of my go-tos honestly, so I am keeping them. This is a really boring Bobbi Brown lip gloss. Um, it's good to have a boring lip gloss sometimes and the formula on these is pretty nice but I have a few lip glosses, so I'm gonna pass this on. Okay, these are really difficult for me, the NYX Macaron Lippies. I'm gonna keep this one just because I have blue hair right now and I'm really into the complimentary colors thing. Ew. If I find myself not reaching for it, I'm gonna get rid of it. And the rest I'm gonna just pass on, like my sister would probably like these, and if not, I'm just gonna toss them. W7, like have you ever even heard of this line? I don't know if it's like a, a European drugstore brand or what, but I bought it in Greece. Anyway, um, it's moussey, it's nice, it's just, not my color and I never reach for it. So I'm gonna pass it on. These Marc Jacobs lip glosses, I don't know that I will wear all the colors. I got this in a set for Christmas, but um, that being said, since they are so new, I'm gonna keep them. This Milani lipstick in matte innocence. It's nice to have like a range of nudes in your collection, but I never reached for this. So I'm gonna pass it on. This I never reach for, the Minnie Mouse like literally have never even used it because you can still see the logo on it. I don't know whether to keep it as a collector's item because like I'm I'm not the kind of person to just look at things and, and appreciate it. Like when I'm just looking at things, it feels like clutter. So, ugh, let me swatch it. Is it an actual good lipstick? No, or I don't, it's not even that it's not good. It's just like more on the sheer side and that's not my style. So I'm gonna pass it on. The packaging is gorgeous. It's like very heavy. It's gorgeous packaging, but I'm gonna pass it on. The rest of these Glamour Dolls lip creams, they're a pretty nice formula, especially for the drugstore. I'm gonna keep Fetish because it has a nice cool tone, so it'll probably go with the color my hair is at the moment, even though when I was blonde, I really didn't like how this looked on me, but um, these two reds I'm gonna get rid of. They're just like a tiny bit sheer for my taste. Another Mary Kay lip gloss that I really actually like the color of. It's really old though, like, so I'm gonna throw it away, it's so old. This was like my favorite orange lipstick before I got the sugar pill one. I actually might even prefer the formula of this to the sugar pill, like it's a tad bit creamier. Um, honestly though, it's old and if I really want it, it is $2, I can buy myself a fresh one, so bye bye Another one of those old NYX, Oh, I love the color though, but I already have colors like this and I just never reach for this. I'm so nostalgic about this because I bought it like when I first got into makeup and oh, the sentiment is still there. I don't need to hold on to the material thing. Goodbye. One of those like color changing things. This one isn't by Lipstick Queen, it's by Barry M. Um, if it turned into like maybe my perfect shade of pink, like a tinted lip balm type thing, I would use it, but it actually turns into like a sheer red and I'm not really into that. And it's also kind of old, so I'm just gonna throw it away. All right, I feel like we're making progress. Still got a little bit of a ways to go. Okay, Kat Von D, bow and arrow, definitely keeping this. Trish McAvoy lip color, um, this is like really pretty. It's like a sheer, I really like it, I'm keeping it. These are two ColourPop lipsticks that I never reach for. I mean, now that I look at it, this is a nice color, but like, but like I hate the formula of the Ultra Matte Lips. Like, I think they're just so drying. This one in the color Trap, like it was such a nice, um, like dark taupey nude at the time. Um, at the time for me, but I got over it pretty quickly, like wearing those kinds of lip colors. Anyway, I'm throwing these away. You know what, I missed this NYX Macaron Lippy before. Um, it's like a straight up gray and I think it might be handy to keep around even though I've never reached for it But let me just keep it. This is like the perfect whiteout nude. This is not cruelty free by the way, but it's a uh, Maybelline bare all and you know, it makes my lips the color of my skin But sometimes you need that to lighten up a lipstick or to have a good base So I'm keeping that Charlotte Tilbury very Victoria lipstick. Um, not like a hundred percent pleased with the color but it is something nice like I like the formula when I need something natural so I'm gonna keep that another LA girl glazed lip paint keeping this because it's new now I like to have a red lip gloss on hand and I do like this formula um but that being said I haven't reached for this in like so long Ugh, but it is really my only like red lip gloss without shimmer so I'm gonna keep it more Bobbi Brown lip glosses um this one I never use so I'm just gonna pass on and then this one um I also never use but Oh, it's good to have a pocket size lip gloss and the color is really nice. It's in the shade Bellini, which is like an iconic shade as well. And I really like the shimmer, so I'm just gonna keep this. Good for travel and whatnot. This is like 
kind of silly like I don't know why I got this from icing it looks blue but it's just like glitter actually oh my god that would look really cool with my hair oh my god am I being like so weird right now do I seriously want to keep I'm I'm keeping this. I'm keeping it. I have to do a look with this. Ugh, I'm so weird. This Inglot lipstick I do really love, so I'm gonna keep it. I haven't reached for it in a while, but I'm gonna put it in this pile so I use it more. This Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade beige. Um, it's good to have for like conservative moments. I'm swatching on my finger now because my hand is so gross. Um, honestly though, it irritates my lips, so I'm just gonna pass it on and see if somebody else likes it, because it is a nice color. Hmm, the Estee Edit Gloss. Um, actually, I ought to use this more often just because the blueness of it does brighten your teeth, um, and I do like a good gloss. So let me put that in the everyday thingy and see if I use it more. Okay, this has got to go NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in like a dark red color. I just, goodbye. The formula of these is like nice, but it, it's just like now being rivaled by so many like better formulas out there, honestly. So this is an Iman lipstick. Um, These lipsticks are really good. And honestly, like a little bit like emollient for this kind of color. I'm gonna pass it on. This is from Inglot. It's a light green lipstick. It is kind of old, but it actually does come in handy every now and then, like if I need a green cream product, so I'm gonna keep it. This I really don't like. It's the Tarte Energy Lip Gloss. I don't even know if this is still available anymore, but it's just like so purpley pink and it kind of ruins the color of whatever's underneath, so I'm gonna toss it. This lipstick from, I believe, Estee Lauder. It looks kind of like that e.l.f. lipstick that I just put in the maybe pile, so, oh, and I really don't like the fragrance. It's like a weird rosy berry floral thing. So I'm gonna um, toss, I'm gonna toss it because I remember my mom gave this to me because she didn't like it. So I'm gonna toss it. This Bobbi Brown lip gloss I love, um, Pink Oyster. I think this was limited edition, but I'm just keeping it because I love it. This uh, is a really cool product. The Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Topper. And Vintage or Tacky uses these on the eyes. And I agree that they're really beautiful on the eyes, but I also have other things like this that I almost would rather use on the eyes. But then again, it is pretty unique. It's like this blue duochrome. I'm gonna keep it just because it's really cool. But FYI, I do not reach for this ever. And um, I don't know how much time it has left in my collection. I'm gonna attempt to use it on the eyes more. So I'm gonna put it like in my everyday thing. Oh, my everyday thing just got really full. So this NARS pencil uh, in the shade Unspoken is a really cool color. And that is the only reason I'm keeping it. I do not like the formula. It gets patchy without me even like talking or eating. It just gets patchy within like the first 15 minutes of wearing it. Um, I will keep it like if I wanna do artistic looks with it, that is it. If you wanna buy, you know, a $27 lipstick um, that's gonna stay on your lips, don't buy this. Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, the formula on these is really drying, but I love the color, so I'm keeping it. An original Too Faced Melted Lipstick. Uh, these are more like actually like a lipsticky texture. Um, Oh no, this one separated and I really love the color. And I remember like buying the full size of this at Sephora because I really loved the color. I waited for it to come back in stock and I never use it. Serves me right, honestly, serves me right. What if I like squeeze a ton out? Oh my God, it is so pretty though. Okay, by kind of like shaking it up and squeezing out some of that liquid, I kind of got it to work. So. Oh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try to use it more. I should put it in my everyday thing. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of witches because I know when I wanna use a black lipstick. So I'm gonna put that in my drawer. I'm gonna consolidate these two and put this in the everyday thing. I'm gonna store it facing like this. So maybe uh, the, the products can kind of just, you know, fall to the bottom. Okay, this was like a 100 point perk at Sephora. Um, Urban Decay lip gloss. I have a newer lip gloss like this from Marc Jacobs. So I'm gonna pass this on. This is a really pretty color, uh, Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. I have this one as well. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't love the formula on these. I prefer the Wet, the wet n Wild ones. I know, um, you know, Vintage or Tacky like feels the opposite way and I do respect her opinion. So just FYI, like I think it's a personal preference thing. This is a really pretty color, but honestly, it's not like the most flattering on my skin tone. When I was blonde, this looked really awesome on me because I had more yellow like in my face because I was blonde. But right now, it doesn't look great. This is like a really light beigey nude 
but I never wear nudes like this. Like they just wash me out. So, uh, and I don't love the formula. I'm going to pass both of them on. Okay, this um, is the Tattoo Junkie lip paint and it came with the glitter. Like these are like the little kits that come together and one has purple glitter. I think the glitter I put like in my face painting kit. Um, okay, it's a little sheer, but it's meant to be topped off with the glitter anyway. I'm gonna keep this to do a look with the glitter. So I'm gonna just like leave it to the side. Another Inglot lipstick. I do really like the formula on these lipsticks, but this is just, it's just wax with glitter in it. I'm gonna pass it on. I literally never reach for it. This was the first lipstick I ever bought really. Um, So I, it's so freaking old. It's like some, you know, private labeled, thing. I keep this because I'm like so nostalgic. I literally would never wear that color though. I'm gonna keep it because like it just reminds me of like good times. Or it's my first lipstick. I'm gonna keep it. I know that's weird. Okay now these two lipsticks are a similar color. This was like created with Nicki Minaj like a MAC Viva Glam. It's like a crayony looking lipstick. Okay they're actually not similar at all. It's so old actually I should just get rid of it. This one from Bobbi Brown I'm definitely keeping. It's beautiful. It's the Luxe lip color in pink guava. All right, these donut glosses from Glamour Dolls. They are so freaking cute and they're actually really pigmented. Like they're not a bad product. This one, I especially love the packaging. Like, oh my God, like who wouldn't love this? You know what I mean? Actually, I'm just getting rid of all of them. Like I, I literally will never use them. I'm, I'm gonna pass them on actually and see if anybody else wants them because they're not that old. NYX matte lipsticks, really, really nice formula. Um. I do love this color. I'm gonna keep it just because the formula is so good and the color is so good. This color, th this one by the way is um, Shocking Pink. And then this is Forbidden. No, I just don't need a matte peachy nude. It's just not my thing. I'm gonna throw it away. These lip tars, I feel really weird about honestly because they're getting so old and I never use them but they were so expensive. And back in the day, they were the only like blue lipsticks, blue and green lipsticks. So and this one is kind of sheer. It's definitely separated. Oh, but it's so pretty, but it's separated. I gotta throw it away. I don't care how much money I spent on it. Like if I don't use it, like I have to throw it away. And the lesson learned here is just don't spend tons of money on things that you're not gonna use. These make lipsticks I really like. Honestly, the pink one though, Mmm, it's a pretty nice formula. They're not like my favorite. Yeah, I have other colors like this that I like better. So I'm gonna pass this on because it is a nice lipstick. And this, the color I love it. That totally came out of the packaging, but I love the color. This by Kiko might be discontinued, their lip gloss pencil, but I love it. Like it, it's kind of similar to the Marc Jacobs Skin Deep. Um, I really like it, so I'm keeping it. But what about this lip tar? You know what, I'm getting rid of it. The thought of keeping it sickens me because honestly, it's it was expensive um, and it was really great for the time that I bought it, but there are just better things out there now. So should I pass it on or get rid of it? It's kind of old. I'm I'm gonna get rid of it, oh my God. Glamour Dolls uh, Kitty Kisses Tinted Lip Balm. I like to just use this before my lipstick. It has a, a nice balmy texture. Um, This liquid lipstick by Ofra. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm, I'm gonna pass it on. The formula is pretty nice. Um, it's just not my color. This is getting kind of old, but it's like so pretty. It's by Berry M and it has like all these sparkles in it. It's the lip lacquer crayon in uh, number four. <laughs> when I studied abroad in Ireland, I like was a freak for Berry M. Like I would go to Boots like every day after class and like, you know, buy like a drugstore item. Um, and I loved Berry M, but um, I'm gonna keep it every once in a while. I do use it. I do like it. NYX Cosmic Metals. Um, I mean, I rarely reach for this because I don't wear like green turquoise lipsticks often, but it's nice. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this I wanted to do a first impressions on, but I've like never done. It's like the peel and seal lip stain. Like you, you put a thick layer on and then you peel it off. Let me... I've never even swatched it. And that's weird. So does it become like this light pink color? I'm definitely gonna do like a first impressions like test 
test on this. So I'm definitely gonna make a note of that and keep this. OCC Lip Tar and Sebastian, love this product. Obsessed with the color. Not my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks, but it's pretty nice. And then this I just got from Inglot. I'll probably depot it and put it in my kit because I don't have something quite like this for my kit. So, okay, that is it. Let me wipe everything off. Ooh, that, that stain is kind of getting everywhere. Oh, and it, it you see that little spot? See, it did stain. Okay, so we got through everything. Let me give you a quick wrap up. These are the lip liners that I kept. Um, I don't feel like you need a ton of lip liners, but I do feel like it's good to have a couple of different ones if you do wear a lot of different um, lipsticks. So I'm gonna put those in my little lip liner drawer. Oh wait, the maybe pile. Um, Selfie by Glamour Dolls I'm probably gonna keep actually because it's really good for lightening up other lipstick colors. But if some more time passes on and I don't use it, I'm gonna get rid of it. This like tanny nude from Wet n Wild, I'm gonna keep for now because I have reached for it in the past year. And then the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I would never buy something like this. I'm gonna pass it on. My mom might really like it actually. Or my grandma who's in town. This e.l.f. lipstick, I'm gonna get rid of it. I just have things that I like better for like an everyday lipstick. I'm gonna pass that on. And then Anastasia Pure Hollywood. I'm gonna give it another chance because it is a really nice color. Um, I'm gonna make it a point to use it. So I'm gonna put it in the everyday pile. In my everyday pile, I'm going to get rid of Anastasia Venom, actually, because this kind of wears itself. Like, I know when I want to wear something like this, I know that I have it, so I'm going to put it in the drawer, and I'm going to put this in my everyday thingy to remind myself to use it. So, to continue wrapping up, here's my everyday thingy. I have the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I have uh, some Marc Jacobs lip glosses, some red lipsticks, some nudes, um a lip gloss that I want to try, like this that I want to remind myself to use. And uh, yeah, so that's my everyday thingy. This is my drawer of lipsticks. So uh, still a lot, but um, way less than I had before. Like this drawer was always overflowing and I always had like lipsticks in my purses, on my dresser, like, you know. Um, so the fact that I have so much less now is so less overwhelming and um i feel like when i look in the drawer now i'll be able to be like okay this is what i want to wear you know these are the lipsticks i'm going to pass on um i'm going to bring them to my mom's house today and let her and my grandma go through them and then uh leave the rest for my little sister and then anything that's left over i'm gonna throw away because um or bring to my friends but i think it's kind of gross to like donate lipsticks you know what i'm saying and then this is the garbage bag so oh and a random pressed powder that i threw away as well because it was getting really uh down to the wire um yeah so these are lipsticks that were just like too old and stuff so oh my god i mean compared to other youtubers this is nothing but i mean for a normal person like this is just way too freaking much um, so, I mean, yes, all of this stuff costs money, but, like, I'm never gonna go through everything I have in a lifetime, even. Um, I kinda wanna, like, start buying things in minis if, you know, there's something that I really wanna buy and it's available in a mini. I'm gonna maybe try to do that so I go through stuff more but yeah this just feels really good to get rid of all this stuff so yeah so I'm just gonna talk with my hands for the outro thank you so much for watching uh please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more declutters and thank you so much I will see you in my next video bye